Hey, this is Cedric, and I want to welcome you to the Sunday Freebie Video Training. In this video, finally, we're going to start building our three-page funnel. So it took us like four videos. This is video number five to get here. So I hope you're exciting. I am. And so let's get going. First, if you're watching this video on YouTube, just make sure you sign up at Sunday Freebie so you can follow the training from inside the member area. And after that, you just click free member. You scroll down the page and you're going to click here and you'll be able to access the product that we are working with in this training. So you just scroll down the page. The product we are working with has been added July 15. And it's this one here, how to start a blog for profit. So in the previous video, I already download this product so it's right here so let's just double click on it and let's just, just go over the file together so we have the e-cover and we have our page right here so opt-in page so we have a CSS file your images file index file that's a squeeze page and we have a thank you page so we're gonna need an extra page so we're gonna duplicate one of them but that's pretty easy to do and after that you have some video for your personal use so and you have the special report. The special report is the report we're going to give away in exchange for a, an email address. All right, so I'm going to close this folder here. And now I'm going to fire up Composer. So in video number two, uh, what you will need, part two, uh, we talk about Composer. So hopefully you already download Composer. So I'm going to fire up Composer. And uh, I suggest that you pause this video and you fire up Composer as well. So you're gonna follow, you're gonna follow this training uh, with me, and we're gonna do the same thing together. Next step, I'm gonna click here, open, and now I'm gonna go to my desktop because I know the file is there. So here's the file. I'm gonna double click on it, double click here, double click opt-in page, and now you see my page so the index file the squeeze page we're gonna do the squeeze page in the next video or the one after since i have a lot of stuff to cover this is a beginner course so we, we take baby step okay so we're gonna open this page here thank you page and we're gonna transform this page into a thank you page or if you're using double opt-in like i mentioned in the last video we're going to use this page to do our confirmation page. So we're going to do both. So that's the first page we're going to start. So hopefully you start a composer and you have the page ready to go like I am right now. So the first step is we're going to get rid of almost everything. I mean, maybe you want to keep this box, but personally I don't. So I'm just going to put my mouse, you know, at the bottom here. And this is a really easy HTML editor, eh? it's called Wizzing, they, they call that, I'm not sure if I say that correctly, but it's what you see is what you get, so it's it's pretty uh, straightforward. So I'm just going to go here, and I just, I me, mean, I want to delete everything from here, so I'm just going to highlight everything, just erase, erase, I want to take this out, I want to take this out, because I just want to build a, a simple uh, thank you page, so... I have some cell here that ju I just put my mouse and I just click delete. So I'm going to keep this text here. I'm just going to keep this C so I will have already my, um, because if I copy from another page, the, 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 I mean, the text will be all, all funny. So to speed up the process a little bit, I'm just going to go to my own page. So I want to build a page like, like this one here. So that's my original thank you page. So I'm just going to go and grab the text here. I mean, you just have to type and I just want to go faster. I'm going to go to Notepad. Notepad is very important. When you copy something from a website, you want to pass that to Notepad before pasting that into uh, an editor. Like, I receive so many emails. Sometimes people just copy things from one site to the other site. And normally it's with WordPress, the problem with the editor. So they copy something from uh, a website to the editor. And at the end, when they go live, you know, the text look all funny because they have like different fonts. So that's why Notepad, it's a real nice program. It's not, you really need to use Notepad, not Word document, because it's going to leave some, some strange character. So Notepad, so I'm just going to copy this here. So I'm just going to go back to Composer and I'm just going to paste this one here. So Control V. Just going to get rid of this. So thanks, thank you for signing up. Hello and thank you for your interest in my new report. So I'm just going to change the text here. How to start a blog for profit. So hopefully you're trying something in Composer right now. You just have to, to write, you know, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty easy.
So all the best. I'm gonna put my name here. Now you see the the font or the heading. It's not the same. But anyway, I'm gonna highlight everything, and I'm gonna go here. So right now I'm in the align center. So I'm gonna go align left. Okay. And now I'm gonna take this whole text here. And I'm gonna go up here. You see, it's it's called adding one, so that's probably too big for this 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 kind of page. You know, I don't want an adding. I just want some body text. So there you go. So I'm gonna highlight everything again and push everything to the left. It's just a matter of trying. Uh, you know, you put your text there. It's very easy. So after that, I'm just gonna delete some more some more cell to go like higher on the page. Next thing, I'm gonna highlight everything again, and now you can go. Well, you can choose a font first of all. You can choose a font. So I really like Verdana, and look kind of small, so I can go here, larger font size. If I just click on it, I go a little bit bigger. Okay, so it's pretty easy for now. The next thing. I mean, if you want to change color, you can you can go change color from here, but black is good for for this page. Next thing I want to do. So thank you for signing up, Elon. Thank you for your interest in my new report, how to start a blog for profit. Please check your inbox to get access to your free PDF. So I'm only giving away a free PDF. You know, we want to keep things simple. But I mean, after this video, you can expand. You know, your your funnel because. What you're learning here, it's basic skills, so you will learn how to use Composer. In the next video, you will learn how to use FileZilla. After that, you can do practically anything you want. So the page looks pretty good right now. So next, I'm going to go here, a little bit down the page. I'm going to go back in the middle. And now, I'm going to make an offer. Okay, An offer like, like this page here. Okay, So I'm going to do the same offer. So I can just grab this images from here, but I have an affiliate program. I mean, you can promote anything, you know, and I'm talking about my own product here, but I mean, you, you can you can promote anything. So I already have an affiliate program here. So I'm just gonna scroll down the page and I'm gonna pick up the banner. Okay, so there's a banner code here. I just put my mouse inside. I'm gonna uh, right click, select all. I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna go notepad again. And I'm gonna paste this in here. So right now, I just need to change my affiliate link. So you want to promote this product, uh, just uh, ask me on uh, GVZoo, and I will approve you. Just tell me that you watch this training, and I will approve you, and you just have to put your link in there. But like I said, you can promote anything. You want to promote something specific, you just put your banner there with your affiliate link. So we're going to do some examples, so it's pretty easy. But in this case, we're going to use an HTML code. Okay, so now I have to put my affiliate link right here. So normally, I don't really have an affiliate link since it's my site. So I'm just going to go with the, the main URL. And after that, select all. I'm going to copy this code here. Copy. I'm just going to close uh, Notepad. I don't need that anymore. Just go back to Composer. Now I want to paste this code here. So I want to beat my banner to be here. Okay. But you cannot paste uh, like a, a code right away. Okay, you have to go to the source. So let me just delete that. So I have to go to source. But first, I want to put some like a kind of placeholder in there. So I will know where to put my banner. So normally I just put some 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 X in there. Okay, and you will know why. The next thing you want to do is you want to click source here. See at the bottom of the page source edit HTML source. That's what they say. So I'm going to click here. And now you see the whole code of the page. Okay. So I'm going to locate my X. So they are right here. So it's like a placeholder, like I said. I'm just going to delete them. And now I'm going to paste my banner code. So Control V, or you just copy and paste, paste. Now I'm going to go back preview. And now you see, ooh, but my banner look kind of big. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the image here. I'm going to go images. I'm just going to go here. And boom. Not sure why the banner looks so so big. In reality, I just let me just go back. I just don't use alternate text and my banner look okay. So we're done with this page. So that's gonna be our thank you page. Okay, so next step I'm gonna go file at the very top, file, 
save as and I'm gonna change the, 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 the file name here so I'm just gonna call this one uh, let's say thank you for now okay thank you I'm gonna save so we just duplicate the file let me just close this one here I'm gonna close the page I'm gonna go back open see now I have another page so thank you so it's very it's very good now if you want to do a confirmation page let me just do a confirmation page real quick I'm gonna retake my original thank you page now it's pretty easy let me just go back and I grab some text so it's gonna be faster so let me just grab uh, everything from here I'm gonna go copy once again notepad I told you I use notepad all the time select all I'm just gonna copy close I'm just gonna go back to composer and now I'm just gonna grab everything from here I'm just gonna leave one letter here so make sure I have the same font there we go I'm just gonna delete my letter so M. turn please confirm your email address so I'm just gonna highlight everything so to highlight everything uh, you just uh, put your mouse I mean on your the right button and you stay you, you keep your mouse on it and you just kind of drag your text so I'm gonna go bold so you can go bold italic underline but in my case I just want to go bold so important please confirm your email address hello and thank you for your interest in my new report or to become a I'm just gonna change this one here how to start start a blog for profit here we go so an email has been sent to you from Cedric Cobre requesting that you confirm your email address. Simply click the link in the confirmation email to receive your free PDF. Just going to erase the rest of the text. That's it. I'm done. Okay. I'm going to keep the same banner. I'm going to keep this video uh, pretty short and simple. So now you just did a, a confirmation page. There's just one thing I did not show you on the other page because I just noticed this. See? I mean, when we're going to up upload the, 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 the page at the very top, let me just show you an example. See at the very top, you're just one step away or this one say, please check your inbox. So this one here is going to say access. So it's not a good thing. So let me just show you how to change this. We're going to go source. And at the very top, you will see title. See title, access, title. So we want to change this one here. So since this is a confirmation page, uh please check sorry please check your inbox or something like this you, see, you you get the point so please check your inbox i will just go back preview and now you see please check your inbox so that's what they're going to see at the at the very top of the the the, the page so we're done so i'm going to go file save as and this one is a uh, let's call this one confirm safe so we just built two page in like i don't know man maybe five six seven minutes so in the next video we're gonna upload them but now we're gonna work on the download page so i'm gonna click here i want to close this one i'm gonna go back open now we're gonna take the original thank you page and we're gonna open it okay Con congratulations thank you for for claiming your copy so the page is already done eh? so we're gonna keep it this way now we have the cover it's pretty good download now and now we can put some resource here you can put the resource i mean in the in the box here but me yeah, i don't really like this box so I just once again i'm gonna highlight everything just delete delete now i got rid, rid of the box so the page look already good so once again i'm just gonna go really fast source i'm gonna i'm gonna change the the title so Thank you. Let's say uh, download your freebie now. And I'm gonna go back preview. Now you see, thank you. Download your freebie now. So that's what's gonna appear at the top, like I mentioned uh, for the previous page. So congratulations. Thank you for claiming your copy. So we have the e-cover. We have the download. Now we have to do a download link for this one. So you can either um, create a PDF link or a zip file. So we're going to cover this in the next video. So I just want to show you how to build this page because in the next video, we're going to use FileZilla.
and we're going to use Composer and Fizela at the same time. So this video is only to get used to Composer. So like you see, it's very easy to use. I mean, you can change the text. Uh, you know, I can I can expand uh, the text. Congratulations! Thank you for for claiming your copy of How to Start a Blog for Profit. I can let's see, maybe put a little line here. Put this text bigger. So I'm gonna go bigger. You just click here. Bold. That's already bold. I can change the color. Let's put that red. There you go. So it's very easy. And let's say you want to give uh, one of the freebies to your customer. You know, you, you can just build the thank you page and uh, say, hey, thanks for being a, a really cool uh, subscriber. Here's a free gift for you. Okay. So let me just expand on a little bit on this page. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to go, uh, well, I'm going to show you another way to put maybe, uh, let's say, maybe this images. I'm just, I'm just going to go. Um, um, let me see, uh, view images, so that's the link of the images, now I'm just going to go to Composer, I'm just going to go images here, and I'm going to put my, my images, don't use, boom, see, now I have the images, so that's another way, like in the first page, I put the HTML code, now I just put the images, now you just have to link to it, so I'm just going to link, I'm just going to put my link here, I'm going to click OK, and now I have a link. OK, so we're done with the page. So I'm just going to go click here, File, Save As. I'm going to change the, the title of this page, and I want to keep the original page. So I'm going to call this one Download, or something something like this. Let, let, let's call it Download. Save. So we're done. So we did three page. All our page are ready. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to upload those page to your server, to your hosting account using FileZilla. So make sure you have FileZilla ready to go. Okay. And we're going to put a download link here. So we built the whole page, but right now the, they have nothing to download. So we're going to put a link here inside this button. It's going to be either a PDF link or a zip file. I mean, it's going to be your choice. Personally, I prefer a zip file. Well, we're going to talk about it in the next video. So hopefully you learned something in this video. This video is all about Composer. If you need, just rewatch the video and make sure you just follow. I mean, if, if you screw up, you just close the page. You just don't save and you go back to your original, to the original file. And uh, the worst thing that can happen is you just can screw the page and you just start over. I mean, it's a learning process. Okay. But it's, you should be, uh, um, should be a really easy to do okay so i see you in the next video in the next video we're gonna talk about filezilla and we're gonna go filezilla composer and we're gonna see uh, what our page look like uh, live and i will show you some other things okay and then the next video after that we're gonna work on the squeeze page and after that we're gonna put all the page together and we're gonna have a funnel so i see you in the next video thanks for watching